Up until now, it's been easy to track a Kentucky man charged in a violent attack in Lexington last year. That was until he cut off his ankle bracelet. A warrant for David Irwin has been issued after police were informed his monitoring bracelet had been removed. Irwin is charged with stabbing his ex-girlfriend and her boyfriend last May. He was supposed to appear in court this morning, but didn't. And now police are trying to find him. Dave Spencer reports from downtown Lexington. David Irwin was supposed to sit in this chair and change his plea from not guilty to guilty. But to no one's surprise, he didn't show up. These are the people who were hoping to see David Irwin in court, having come here with a police escort, afraid because Irwin cut off his GPS monitored ankle bracelet this morning. My heart stopped beating for a little bit and then just kind of tried to prepare myself for what there was to come today. Joey Sachs is still recovering from what happened to him in May. I have a stab wound on the back of my head to prove it. After returning home with his girlfriend, Sachs says the two were ambushed by Irwin, who used to date his girlfriend. Sachs says Irwin jumped out from behind a couch with a kitchen knife, stabbed both of them, breaking the knife blade off in her back. He was later arrested after attempting suicide from drinking antifreeze. Commonwealth of Kentucky versus David Arthur Irwin, 09. Sachs thought it was over. I got too comfortable in wanting this to happen. And the plan was for Irwin to enter a guilty plea today on assault and burglary charges. Therefore we issued a warrant for his arrest. But instead of an ending, it's the start of living in fear. Don't know how I'm going to get to the next day. It's just be looking over my shoulder, uh, be extra careful, and stay with other people, strength in numbers. And Sachs says although he doesn't personally know Irwin, he somehow knew he was capable of running away. In the Fayette County Circuit Courtroom, Dave Spencer, WKYT 27 News First. In addition to the assault and burglary charges, Irwin will likely face escape charges, which could tack on another five years.